what's going on? We are hope you are doing well. We hope you are all great. All right, let's start that over. <laughs> Why? It's funny. Hi. We hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and isolated and healthy and happy. And we thank everybody who is out there still working, especially doctors and police officers. And um, you can't say especially; it's everybody. It's the mailman. It's the janitorial I know. people. It is everyone. The public store, the grocery store workers. It's every. Don't say especially. Especially to everybody. Especially to everybody who is out there working and having to put themselves at risk with interacting with other people and we thank you guys for doing that real time update we are still in the u.s virgin islands right now this video was shot back in february yeah late february and as we've been telling you we've been slowly getting caught up to real time and we hope you enjoyed this video if you guys get a chance and you like this video and you think someone else might like it just give it a share I'll share it on facebook share it with your friends or family and we would really appreciate that that's one of the biggest things you guys could do to help keep supporting us and what we do and our channel and making videos and yeah we just appreciate it if you give the video a share so and this was filmed like Billy said back in February and it is now almost May and this has still been our favorite adventure yet so we really hope you guys enjoy it I'll leave us a comment let us know if you guys enjoyed it and yeah how you guys liked it and so. if you would ever risk doing it yourself <laughs> <laughs> my name is Billy this is Sierra and this is our dog, Jetty. And this is Adrenaline, our full-time floating home and office. Join us as we sail, surf, swim, dive, fish, and kiteboard through new and exotic places every day. Make sure you subscribe below and sit back and enjoy. Good morning. So far today, we have taken Jetty to the beach and took her on an extremely long walk got her some running in because today we're going to rappel down a cliff to see a waterfall that goes over into the Atlantic Ocean but there is lots of like steep ladders and ropes that you have to go down so Jetty has to stay unfortunately we're gonna go rent a car and then we're gonna be on our way filming in the boat for us yeah look I got a big bed for you go on oh yeah Okay. Thank you. Good morning. I said good oh, you did? Did you tell them what we're doing today? Yeah, I did. We're going to a beach waterfall. And we're renting a car. Do you tell them we're renting a car? They drive on the left side of the road here in Dom Dominica, so um, got to keep that in mind. In case you guys were wondering what we do with Jetty when we leave Jetty on the boat and how we make her comfortable, I shall show you. Well, the bed's not normally down, but it is today. We always make sure she has food and water, two fans on, and both hatches open. We're in the Caribbean, so we have nice trade winds blowing all day, every day. So she's nice and cool. It's been super comfortable. It's actually been really cool at night and in the day. It's just really comfortable. We're not worried about it getting too hot or anything for Jetty in the cabin. And we also have our siren marine system here, which detects the temperature in the cabin. And I can look right on my phone to see what the temperature is exactly. And we even get alerts if the temperature goes too high. So if it gets above like 85 degrees, I'll get an alert on my phone. We'll know it's too hot in here. And then we can just make our way back and make sure we get here. We also have these um, shade covers on all of our windows, so it's always shaded and we have the big blue shade on the back so the deck doesn't get too hot. We also make sure no electricity is on besides our fridge, freezer, and the fans. Propane's off, inverter's off. We could even potentially have like a, a camera in here, a nanny cam. You couldn't use like a Wi-Fi, you would need like a cellular type cam. I think the newer version of Siren Marine allows you to hook up a camera to it. There's an app on the iPad and Apple devices also that I believe you can use, but it would just, it would suck down a ton of data. So we don't use it. Providence is picking us up and bringing us to the dinghy dock so we don't have to leave our dinghy at the dinghy dock. And uh, here we go. Hey Providence. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Ah, uh, super. Hold it. Don't make a bump. Thank you so much, Robin. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> At each light post are LEDs with a little wind turbine and solar panel on it, which is pretty cool. We just had to make a quick step at the police station to get a permit to be able to drive a car. It lasts for like 30 days, costs like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Are you confused with the conversion of American dollars to ECs and then ECs to Euros? Because we were just in Martinique and then we're going to go back to Euros next week. Mind blowing. On the left side of the road again. In Martinique, they drove on the right side of the road. This country was most recently a British country or territory or something. It wasn't until recent, I think Marcus said. 1970 in the 1970s like 78 or something they became their own country independent which is interesting so that's why we drive on the left side of the road here and the steering wheel is on the right you are just all backwards I'm used to it now like a miami dexterous driver now think the camera gets here itself, did ya? Hello. We're looking for the waterfall hike. Yes, you're the right track. Okay, keep, keep going, going this way. Yes, you got this truck. It's a green building. Uh-huh. Right here. Uh-huh. And you walk Alright, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Alright, we just parked here next to this person's house over here and uh yeah, the lady, a lady at a house down up the road said that this is where we need to go to start. She said, just start hiking. So, whoa, there's the Atlantic Ocean right there, the coast. I think we'll start to see, what, some ropes and ladders and stuff and hike down a cliff? That's what I heard. So the reason we're coming here is because our friends from Waterless, the people who make Billy's board shorts and the tops wear and the leggings, um, they came to Dominica and they said this was one of their favorite water holes falls and then I read another blog and they and make they, really cool videos too yeah water. and then I read a read another blog post about all the things to do in Dominica and they said this was their favorite hike so we're doing it and it seems like one of the m more off the beaten path places I don't think like the cruise ship people come here oh. and it was out of commission or or in bad shape for a while after Hurricane Maria came through but Sierra called one of the eco lodges nearby and they said within the past few weeks they just had fixed it up um, to be back in good shape so I think the guy that lives right up here I think he maintains them and we're supposed to give him a little fee but we knocked on the door and no one was there so maybe we'll check when. on the way back okay just kidding we parked at the wrong house and we knocked on the wrong door but we found the place to be. We gave them a couple bucks for maintaining this awesome trail. And now we are on our way. So we're on the windward side of the island today, like the southeast side. And the ocean's pretty calm today. Not much wind supposed to be like that for the next few days. Beautiful. Wow. Whoa. Definitely some surfable waves there. Whoa. Is that it? I think so. And then there's beach all down there. Well, that's the way down. <laughs> <laughs> these ropes right here, and they're attached to these big cement things. Oh. Is that the way up as well? Yep. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going uh, hands-free and uh, with the GoPro. Wish us luck. 
So the colors have been kind of messed up on this camera. Sorry about that. We do our best in, in post to fix them, but it, it, it's been so weird and we've tried different settings on the camera. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know how this, this sound is as well. You ready? Go ahead. Whoa. All right, I'm coming. Whoa, yeah, that first one's a big one. <laughs> it's like lopsided too. Going straight down. Oh yeah, wow. Hold on tight, please. <laughs> it's so high. This is the kind of thing that I went in the States, forget about it. It would get shut down in half a second or someone gets sued right away. And if they did allow it, you'd be in like harnesses and all the safety gear and helmets and life jackets and everything. This is rugged. Here we go. Just be careful. Hold on tight. Watch where you're stepping. Make sure you have a good grip every time you grab it. Oh my god! <laughs> this is crazy! Wow! This way? Yeah, this looks about right. Whoa, what the heck? This log right here is loose. Alright, this root's good. Wow. Her thing. Well, there's one down here. I don't know, that's what I had to figure out. There we go. Almost, yeah. Uh, you gotta hold on to something. Because it's slippery, it's not, it doesn't look super flat. Yeah, you're like half a foot away. We made it! Don't jinx me! Ooh. That was crazy! Woo. We made it! Woo. That was so nuts! That was definitely like the sketchiest and most dangerous waterfall hike we've ever done. Well, we haven't even got to the waterfall yet. But still, that was the most dangerous, My craziest thing yet. ever. Your favorite? Me too. All right, the waterfall is right up here. 
You just gotta make it through over a few boulders and driftwood logs and, and we'll be there. All right, let's go. It's like raining underneath this place. Oh, the mountain is leaking. The mountain's leaking. That's so cool. <laughs> We're like on this rock underneath the waterfall hanging out. And the waterfall water is freezing, but the ocean water is so warm and the waves are trying to wash this off the rock. Look, Sierra's still up there. It's so cool. got washed off the rock. Did we get that on camera? I missed it. I got blown away. If you're ever in Dominica, you must come here. You must. If you're out for an adventure, you're not scared of heights and you're in pretty good shape. We've been hanging out at the waterfall here for a little bit. Such a neat spot. I think it's time to cruise before it gets too late. And I think we might have a chance to do another little hike or waterfall or something like that. So we're gonna head on out of here and check out what is next on the list. I think this has just taken the cake at my favorite waterfall ever. It's not even like a huge waterfall, but it is it's a cool It's the trek to get here. Spot. It's the fact that it's in the ocean. It's the journey. Nobody else is here. Waterfall right on the beach. So neat. All right, see you guys at the top. Hey, you guys. Be careful. On our way here, we took one wrong turn and we saw a sign for Emerald Falls and I read online that that could be a cool place to go to. So we're gonna go check it out. I think it's like some pools and another waterfall. I heard it was very touristy, like aimed for the cruise ship visitors, but it's already three o'clock. So hopefully everyone else is gone and maybe we have a place to ourselves again. How you doing? Good. Hello. This is quite a contrast to the last place we were at. But it's, it's part of the national park system, right? We used yeah. a national park ticket and it's beautifully maintained. Look at these beautiful boardwalks. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just, uh, yeah, it's definitely built up. It's like a tourist stop, but it is nice. Dominica is, what they call it the uh, island of nature, right? Yep. And they are huge on ecotourism. That is, seems like it's what it's all about around here. Yeah, it's their main industry which is amazing. I hope they continue to, I hope they thrive on it. It is so nice to go to places where they value like they value nature and yeah. the tourism is just all around it, which is, it's really neat. Emerald Pool had a little visitor center and it had a bunch of um, signs on the walls where you could learn about, about Dominica. So what did you learn? Give me a fact. Dominica is the most mountainous island in the Caribbean, Caribbean, supposedly, that's what the sign said. And they have nine live volcanoes Which on is more Dominica. than any other place, any other island in the entire world. And they have a, a ton of hiking trails all around the island, some really long hiking trails. And I think Marcus was saying they all pretty much connect, right? It's a yeah, whole trail system around the whole island. I heard you can do them all, and it would take like three weeks to do them all. That would be an adventure. I think it's like a 10 minute walk down to the waterfall here, Emerald, Ooh. Emerald Pool. Let's go. Yeah, 
saw, we've seen this one. We've seen this one, I believe. Yeah. And then I don't know about the other ones. We have also learned in our time here in Dominica that the island has changed hands back and forth between French and British rule. There were original Indians here called, do you remember what they're called? Co, it starts with a K, K-A-L. Kalingo or something? Kalingaro. Kalingu, uh, sorry, something like that. But anyway, there is still a small population of them on a small reservation on the northeast side of the island. One notable fact about them was that they were like so resistant to being taken over that they just, whoever was occupying the island just kind of said, oh, they, they went over there, they just kind of left them alone and that's how the Indian population kind of survived. According to our guide the other day, no one on the outside was allowed to come into the tribe. If they wanted to marry someone outside the tribe, they had to leave. But now, just recently, I think that uh, men are allowed to bring women. Are they both allowed to? I don't to? think so, I think it's one. I think it's men are allowed to bring women into the tribe. I don't think women are allowed to bring men into the tribe and marry, but that's just recent. Do I jump in? really chilly oh my goodness this is a really really cool spot but we just realized that we left our other GoPro in the car and I didn't make sure both doors were locked so a little nervous that that's out in the open and someone's gonna take it so we got to cruise out of here and make sure we don't lose yet another GoPro Whew. all right GoPro is safe it ended up being in my backpack the whole time and the car was locked so we're good And we're back. Trying to get a ride back to the boat now. What kind of wood? I know it. I wish we were gone for that long. You would not have liked that ladder. Would you like to go to the beach?